Hello, fellow wanderers. I'm Endry. Thank you for joining me as we wander through KOTOR 2. Dark Side Run. Attempt number five. I kid you not. Between recording errors and game crashes, this will be the fifth attempt to record this section of the game. Sorry if I sound a little frustrated. Another sentry droid. The mercenaries must be using them to locate us. There's probably another patrol nearby. Yeah, I've seen these scenes a few times. They're, they're, they're running thin. Between that and fighting the AI in this game... I'll show you what I mean by fighting the AI in a second here. So, um... There's landmines right there. If I let my AI come with me, they'll run over those landmines. Uh, I'll be getting that bounty anyways. Wait, bounty? Why is there a bounty on your head? Yeah, none of your business. I don't think so. You'll have to come through me if you want to take the general. Yep. Sorry, skip through some of that because honestly I'm tired of listening to alien speech. Also because they let them talk for way too long for what they're saying. Oh, you both came? Oh, you guys are fantastically cooperative this time. This, this bodes well. Let's get this over with. I, mean, I don't really want to fight them both in melee because they actually hurt a lot in melee, but uh, <laughs> Kraya also got our full buff load off, so I say these guys are dead. Those buffs? Really important. They seriously up your combat effectiveness. They're not going to drop any loot. Loot is generated upon creation of the map. Uh, that includes enemy drops, that includes random container contents. So uh, once you generate a map, save, load, come back, whatever, it's always going to be the same. The table is generated and saved uh, in the file. Now, if you were to, like, let's say I were to reload from the last parts save, before I had touched down on Telos, I could reload all the drops that way. Uh, but... Uh, once it's set, it's set. It's the same with shopkeeper inventory. So uh, if you land on the planet and you don't like what drops in the very first section here, you could, if you had a save beforehand, you could reload it and get new stuff. I'll, 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 I will prove it to you right now. There will be two cryoban grenades and a detonator gauntlet. Boom. Yeah, it's all set. I know exactly which enemies are going to drop loot, exactly what loot they're going to drop, so sorry. I always feel a sense of calm when I walk to the surface of Telos. The Athorians are truly... That's a new bug. Let's get this over with. Haven't seen that one before. I will have to show that cutscene on the light side run, because the game just glitched and cut it off. Cool. I don't know what the sound, why, why I just got the notification that a USB this device This shall not take us for long. I'm not sure what device it could be, but okay. And happening all day. Take I'm just having down. the worst luck today, guys. So I apologize I like if that? I'm a little salty. I, I ask this you, shall not kindly for forgive me my momentary salt. We'll see the next thing that happens to interrupt Fallen. this. <laughs> Let's get this uh, over with. I'm so tired of this part. I've done it several times it. now. Let me handle this. I, I'm looking over and checking the recording now to make sure that it's still recording. You asked for and it. I'm still getting input on the screen. I am. That, that's good. That's good. I like how his little remote can actually help in combat. Also, Chris is just leveled up. Level up, unarmed specialist, fantastic skills, save as always, fantastic powers, battle meditation, 
plus two to attack and damage for the party for 20 seconds. Yes, please. What in the world? I don't know what, what what's doing that. I'll have to check it later. And it's just happening while I'm playing the game. It doesn't happen otherwise. <sighs> I don't know, guys. It's still recording. Right? I'm, I'm still... Hold on. Let me check. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, still recording. Okay, good. We got some mercenaries here to deal with, so uh, let's deal with them. Four screen should uh, make short work of I'll silence this one. him. Let's head over here real quick and four screen in that direction. Did not quite four screen that Fallen. one properly. And a canic aggregates. Fair enough. Fallen. Feodor. Sir, Focus. if you would kindly get involved in this, this combat, I long. would appreciate it. Fallen. I mean, I don't need your... Why am I targeting the Kenok all the way up? You know, it doesn't matter. The ones back there, they're just normal mercenaries. They aren't a threat. Oh, hello, other Kanak. Sometimes this game and I, we just don't get along. Fallen. Yeah, Bowder leveled up. Nice. see to this really quickly. He doesn't get much, just skills and some unarmed increase. Which, you know, that's good in itself. I'm going to drop a quick save here, just in case the game decides to crash. It? So that way I can at least just come right back to here. Uh, that remains, is this going to be, yeah, that's the parts. So you'll be 15 credits, 15 credits, yep. And did I already get the 18 credits down on the beach? I think I did. I don't remember. It's all blurring together. I think I did, because there's no count over here guarding this. Yeah, I did. Silly me. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Then there should be one of these guys that's a Kanak that dropped some remains. You're going to have some armor. For some reason. Yep, some armor. And back here we're gonna get some med packs and some armor, which is gonna be nice to have. I will equip that stuff in just a second here. Let's go ahead, give you the heavy armor that'll give you four more AC. Lose a few resistances, but at this point I would much rather I just have the armor. Class, the uh, missed chance is nice. We'll worry about the rest later. Okay, we're going to go to solo mode. Minefield ahead. We can pick our way through or take the time to disarm some and clear a path. Yeah, well. That's all good, but we're already in combat, so disarming a path is not really all that feasible. All right. Um, my hope is that I'm gonna be able to interrupt myself if, when I deal the death blow on this thing to keep from wandering into the... Okay, good. Nope, 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 there we go. I would just have wandered right into that mine right there, trying to get to this turret, if I hadn't uh, interrupted the movement. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, that is the downside to the ally AI, is since they'll blunder through all of these mines, uh, they become a serious liability uh, dealing with landmine traps, so that's why solo mode exists. I keep checking the recording. I really do. I'm so paranoid because once I was well past this part, looked over it. Oh, recording stop. 
Don't even know why. Just stopped. And now I'm getting weird glitches. Like, I haven't really ever had this game crash, but last session, uh, last attempt at this, it crashed right here. While I was going up to a mine, just gone. <laughs> Uh, I can't blame the new computer. The new computer's doing fine. The the one that's actually doing the recording, other than for some reason it stopped recording, but I assume that's because I hit a button and didn't notice. I don't actually have a uh, streaming control box. There's this thing made by, uh, I want to say it's Elgato, the same people that make the capture card I use. Uh, where it's a bunch of, it's a 15 programmable key thing that you can put on your desk and you can assign it shortcut to, it links in with OBS, which is the recording software I use that you could do uh, scene changes and start and stop record, start and start, stop stream all from that little box, which is, it's uh, on my list of things to bother with eventually, but not at the moment. It's uh, a little too pricey to, to want to bother with that at the moment. Uh, but it's on my list of, of things to definitely look into. It would be nice, especially since I use a two-box system. Um, it would be much easier to control the secondary box without having to reach over and try and get a keyboard working or hit a, a, the other mouse, things like that. Um, Sentry bot, I know you're there, but you're not really a threat. So I am Sentry going... droid ahead. We've been spotted again. We're close to the compound, so they'll be getting ready for us. I'm going to deal with you myself, because you're not really dangerous at all. And then there's this part. With these guys up here, which I'm sure are going to be an absolute nightmare. Are you two, are you all, oh. uh, see, I don't know what's going to drop on this map, because uh, it changes, because I haven't loaded this map before. Your turrets did not work, and your droids will fail you. And they are not going to destroy me. What I do want to do is close in just a little. Oh, and I blew up the mine. <laughs> Come on. I don't know what that remote thinks it's going to accomplish out there, but uh, you know what? We're f yeah, it doesn't even matter. I don't even care. Come on kill these guys. They're all basically in front of the mines now anyway. Uh, start with the warbot, because they're actually kind of pathetic. And she's actually got a melee shield, and she throws grenades. Which is really irritating. And I'm gonna force screen you, hopefully. Because four screen, I mean, I could switch to Bowder and take her shield out. There, her shield's gone now. She's dead. That purple, that magenta or whatever color glow, Bowder nearly just set off that mine, and I was gonna be real cross at his padding. It's not a lot of XP per mine, but it it does drive me nuts to not get it. Throw a toxin emitter. That'll sell for a lot of money, I think. What makes me sad is the last time I did this, I actually got a really nice piece of armor clearing through this area, and, uh, yep, not gonna get it this time. Okay, we're gonna do a quick save here, because this next part is actually really tricky, and, uh, I would much rather reload a quick save than, uh, restart this entire section again. So we got some guys over here. The tricky part about this is, is my guys will try and run off and engage more guys in a fight afterwards. There's the landing pad. There should be a computer terminal I can access from there. Looks like we're gonna have to fight our way there though. Look sharp. What do we have here? The Jedi. Saves us the trouble of looking for you. Corin Fault did say you were dangerous. Maybe he does know what he's talking about. Yeah, enough talk. Let's get this out of the way. Attack. Uh, so I want to go after you first, because you are weak. You are a veteran mercenary, but I want to line up a little better, because this is a cone effect. 
And if I'm gonna waste the force points. I will silence this one. Fallen. Did they just take out Feodor already? Yes, yes they did. Okay. Alright, your melee barrier is gone at least. That's a plus. I should really use his uh, shield killer ability more proactively. I wish the AI was better at using it themselves. But they're not. And I'm not I'm not a, a party switching micro engine carry player. I used to be. I used to be a lot more like that. Like when I used to play Dragon Age Origins back in the day, I used did a lot of that. Would you stop healing yourself, please? You sir are being a right pest. Hey Kreya. I hear Kreya. you. Kreya You gonna get into on this, please? Then there's when they just, you know, break and decide not to actually help in combat. Uh, repair kit, that's bloody useless. Bowder is about to get himself killed. Disrupt your rifle. Yep. Well, at least you got him into melee, so I'll be able to kill him off without Kraya running off to, the, to who knows where. Anyone else back here actually drop loot? You did! Real stamina. Hey, right. fine. Nope, Bowder is gonna go over there and be an idiot all on his own, all over again. Ooh, perception D package. I like D packages. All right, Kraya, come on. We're gonna have to deal with these things. I know you don't have a lot of force powers right now, so force points right now, so that's gonna suck. But uh, this is just turrets and mercenaries, so I don't think they actually pose too much of a threat. Uh. Famous last words. Yeah, just box standard mercenaries. Uh. Already dead. Uh. Uh. This shall not stop us for uh. long. Uh. It really won't stop us for long. More shiny heavy armor. Well, sellable at least, I guess. Oh dear, are you over there being a bloody idiot again? You are, aren't you? All right, come on. Who did you trigger? Ah! Oh, you triggered the nasty group. Hold on. You. What's you going on? Bloody ah! shield breaker. Ah! I hear you. Eh, too late. Focus. I really hate when they just decide to randomly start attacking people. Okay. Oh, Kreya, you decided to actually engage? Thank you. What is it? Kreya! Hit him! Fallen. I mean, I know I'm deflecting most of the blaster bolts, but come on! Okay, standard mercenary. You get to die. I don't like grenades. Other standard mercenary, you get to die. Fallen. And now we get to chew through this guy. Fantastic. I don't know what that was. Okay, we chewed through his barrier. Now we might actually be able to hurt him. I could equip a melee shield or something, but as you can see by my health moving down there, I don't care. <gasps> It'd be nice if I could hit him more often. <gasps> I 
10 didn't do much damage. Finally. Brazium Light Battle Armor. What in the world is that? Probably more for you than me. It's medium armor. 8 plus 2. 5 plus 5 or 8 plus 2. Uh, gonna go with that because I don't think you're... Yeah, you don't even have a dex bonus, yeah. so... Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm going to recover these mines real quick because we are going to have to go this way. Recording's still going, thankfully. Yeah, this all has made me super paranoid. And we got a couple guys over here. They don't have shields or anything, and they're just box center mercenaries, so they not stop us for long. should not be a problem. Fall. I think that's everything around here. And I just realized I forgot to do something in the previous screen, so we're gonna have to go back. Ooh. That's med pack. Neat. Okay, we we're gonna backtrack for a little bit because I totally forgot about something. I don't really want to have forgotten about it, so. Thankfully, burst of speed, I guess. Honestly, it's not that bad because uh, my guys really need to regenerate some health and uh, force points. Okay. Well. Let's head this way real quick and I will show off an area I completely neglected, neglected to show off. Whoops, my bad. Yeah, see, so if you come over here, this is why you should always make sure your map is filled in. There's a little pit over here, and if you walk around the pit, there's landmines. Yay, free XP and money. Oh, actually, there's like two supply ca caches back there, which are nice. Let's grab these real quick. You'd be amazed how fast the money from selling mines get uh, adds up. Or if you've got good enough skills, uh, just breaking them down. The mercenaries have at least two hidden caches like this. We should keep our eyes open. Pretty sure I already discovered the first one. Um, yeah, some grips. These are good for our melee weapons. I'll probably modify my blades in a bit. I do need to pick up weapon focus for my uh, melee weapons because I'm not going lightsaber, but I guess I kept fighting other things to put the points in. Weapon focus would be a big help. Oh well, we'll have to wait till Telos Station. Also, saving. <laughs> I'm not paranoid, not at all. <laughs> I am so paranoid. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, the light side run through here is going to be so much fun. Because my light side character is not nearly as prepared for this part. <laughs> oh, it'll be great. It'll be great. I seriously I have no idea how I'm going to deal with this as a light side character, but... Um, we'll figure it out. Probably by blowing up a lot more landmines, which means a lot less XP, and that character is already behind in XP, but uh, whatever. All right, we need to come up here. Yeah? Since you actually have computer skill, you talk to the computer panel. Hopefully I'll be able to access the shield network from this console. Good, it's functional. And my passcodes still work. Now let's find your ship. TSS said the Ebon Hawk isn't at any sanctioned landing site. What makes you think you can find it? The TSF probably thinks the ship was put down in the wastes, but they don't know the planet as well as I do. 
Telos's atmosphere has been turned into acidic vapor. Landing a ship in the wastes would be like sealing it in a hangar full of hungry Minox. So that means there's probably an unsanctioned landing site somewhere on the planet. Still shielded, but not a restoration zone or other listed facility. That's why I need access to the shield network. Here, a small anomaly in the shield network's power grid. I'm not surprised the TSF didn't spot this. It's subtle, more like an error or random flux than anything suspicious. What is it? It looks like power is being drawn to generate a shield over a small area in the polar region, but nothing should be down there. Orbital cameras show nothing, just an empty mesa. We should investigate this. I feel this is the best bet of finding the Ebon Hawk. How are we going to get to the polar region? That's a little tougher. According to the computer, a shuttle is currently docked inside the research facility. At least there was at last report, though that was months ago. So we don't know what the shuttle will be there, or working. I don't, but that's not going to stop me. I'm getting back to Citadel if I have to build a new ship myself. What are we waiting for, then? There's one other small problem. Recently, Zerka teams that were sent into the military facility have not been coming out. But it's not as though we have any choice. Let's go. All right. It's going away. Does the computer panel actually have any other functions? I hear Not you. a one. Sweet. Ah, uh, okay. Real quick. What does that perception T package do? Plus one charisma, plus two wisdom? Ah, uh, it takes 18 con, and I've only got you at 16. That's a pity. I mean... I could equip it, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm running the immunity D package. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that, thanks. It's way too useful. I don't have any rebreathers? Weird. Hold on a second, I wanna check something. Uh, you, you. What's going on? Just say the oh, word. You, you can do this at any point, so if you wanna switch party members while you're down here, you can do that. And, uh, well, we've got you out. Um, you have a breath mask. Put it on neural band. Thanks. You also have a retinal combat implant, which is the yeah, whatever. And these things, which are yeah, whatever. I'm just making sure it doesn't have anything I want for outdoor. All right, uh, party time. You go away. You come back because I prefer you in What's this party. On? And Bauer Dur, I want you to equip the breath mask. Yes. Why? You'll see. <laughs> so, step on a vent. Poison gas comes out. It's really irritating. I don't care. I'm immune to it. What is it? Yeah. But uh, my party members aren't. This arm of mine isn't just for show, General. Stand back. And... Uppercut. And away goes. The Zerka mercenaries were a little surprised when I broke my way out of my holding cell. The shields there were even weaker than these. After you. Yep. So Paladir can break through force fields, which is awesome. I have been poisoned. Yeah, Kree has been poisoned. Fortunately, it doesn't really seem to bother her much. She's, uh... Well, for one, she has Force Cure, which I think cures poison, which is great for her. And the rest of us are pretty what strong. Is it? Let's go. I would do her. Use this terminal for me, please. So you have all my computer skill. Slicing will cost us nothing. We will download the map. I could have deactivated the turrets, but I'd rather fight them, honestly. Uh, cool. Any of you leave anything? Oh, you left something. Ooh. 
It's a nice shiny. And yeah, I don't care. I'm immune to it. Mm, cool. Um, okay. Uh, I hear you. Let's go. Door. I need you to whack me a shield. And this won't take ahead of you so that long. I can deal with this droid. Because the droid ain't that rough. ain't that tough. We will have to, however, be this. fighting a few of them. As you can see, they have shields. Um, if I were using blasters, I would definitely uh, use Beodur to take out their shields for us. I am not using blasters, so I don't care. Huh. Both and Droid Disruptor. I bet that thing's an awesome little attack weapon. I really don't know. I mean, uh, I don't know why my computer is making noises at me like something's being connected or disconnected. Because nothing is. Recording's still going. Signal's still good. Um, nothing on his body. All right. Hey, look, it's an ambush. Come on. Let's get this over with. Unfortunately, Bao Dur, who is the one getting shot at the most, is also the one least able to take the hits. Which is a bit of a pity. Alright. He'll get back up in a second. I'm basically just giving the game time to load any remains in. Okay, what is that? Light armor, six plus four. Okay. Good to have, I guess. I didn't even see what that was. I'm sorry. Well, I say I'm sorry, but more than likely you all can just pause the, the video if you really wanted to see what it was. I have no idea what I just looted. Yes. Yeah? Okay, Kreia. What is it? Go ahead and do yeah. that. Thank you. I do love force heal. And see, this is why I didn't turn off the turrets, because there are more of them in here. And they're worth XP. Fallen. And they're also shielded, which is super irritating. My light side party is going to have to have some uh, shields on, I think. I don't think I can get away with this no shield thing I'm doing Fallen. on this run. You know, since you don't have access to lightsabers yet. I have been poisoned. Hmm, Kriya's been poisoned. Oh, her health is slowly going down. Keyword there being slowly. Alright, grab that. Any other remains I can't see from over there? No. But here's a workbench. So, I was going to say, I think you have some stuff on you. Let's do that. Um, this bronzium light armor, might as well upgrade that. I've got my Ashani heavy armor on. I don't need the defense as much as he does, so... Go ahead and do that, and let's take this sword I've got. Plus two attack, minus one damage. I'm actually going to take the negative damage there. And that will pretty much make up for it right there. And okay. I Here hear you. What do I have you equipped with? Okay, with a vibro sword. Oh, what do I have myself equipped with, I guess, is the question. Oh, the Rhodian blade. Right. Okay, so now your blade is a lot better. She has no second hand, by the way, so she 
can't dual wield. Keep that in mind. Ah, another level up for her is always nice, though. New force power. The force power is force points. Okay. Oh, and she learned Shicho. I will go over that later. Go ahead and grab the next rank of energy resistance, please. And feats. Um, where is Shicho? Um, oh, sorry, it's under powers, that's right. Shicho gives you plus one attack modifier, plus three defense, and minus three defense versus current target. So it's good against uh, outnumbered. So defense bonuses are cumulative. So this form provides a net plus zero defense against your current target, but plus three defense against enemies that are not your target. So you don't lose any defense and you gain a plus one attack and additional defense against everybody else. So make sure you are using going on? Shicho. Curious. Yes. Teach me more about the force, can Very you? Very well. What is it that drives you? Uh, can you teach me any lightsaber forms? The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho, the simplest of the forms return to you as your skill and perceptions have returned. Others may come with time, with experience. Hmm, cool. I don't know, what, I think it's because I haven't actually leveled up. So, Shicho, cool lightsaber form. Actually, quite handy. Um, save real quick. Recording's still going. What is it? Good. This is where I noticed the recording had stopped last time. Ah! Really sad. There she is, one orbital shuttle. Looks like it's in serviceable condition. That's all a moot point, though. Why is that? The hangar bay doors are closed. I don't fancy flying the shuttle through solid metal, so I'd say we need to find a way to get them open. We'll also need to find the ignition codes for the shuttle, or else we'll have some trouble getting off the ground. If we get all that, I wouldn't worry about what shape this heap is in. I'll get it running. <laughs> Let's see, military door here. Um, one side, I'll be right back. Small interruption there, sorry about that. Oh, you mean you guys probably won't see a thing if I remember to edit this out, but, you know, there you go. Anyway, military door back there. We can't open it from here, but... Oh, step away from the shuttle. I didn't actually want to activate the shuttle. I, I know. Stop it, Gabe. I don't care. I just... Okay. <clears throat> anyway... came from that way. Okay, so we need to go this way. What is it? Let's go. So, bow door. Poisoned. Yeah, suck it up, Kriya. He'll be fine. Ooh, lockers. I like lockers. Ooh, credits. Lots of them. I like that. Yeah, I don't care about the empty one. Uh, repair kit. Don't really... Well, actually, I'm going to need those the end game. Huh, Verizon Light Battle Armor. Game's being fairly nice yes. loot-wise. Let's go. And could you click that? Turn off the gas vents, please. Thank you. What is it? Yeah? Uh, you have security, right? Fantastic. See, I knew I kept you around for a reason. Yes. Yeah? You know, the game required me to. Unlock the hangar doors. Log out. Okay. Uh, and what since is it's it? here, yeah. and I can. I have this open in no time. Open that up. Let's keep going. Uh, yeah. Teal's military droids really aren't that scary. Oh. 
plasma grenades are nice. They break down for lots of parts. Hmm. Remember this door for way, way later. Uh, that's a bit of cut content on the other side of that door, and we will deal with it in due time. Uh, also, I have a glitchy bit of text up there. I'm sorry, can I get rid of that if I do a save load? Please? Hey, save loading! Thankfully, huh. these droids are not a threat. Ooh, droid agility upgrade. Yes, please. We're, we're getting good toys all of a sudden. Game trying to make it up to me? And yeah, the vents are disabled now, so that's really handy. <laughs> Who are you? And no, I'm not. <laughs> Why would I waste my time? Da hupa, bossa curata, go jujuto yoki, hiata yamba wajiaki, yukito tune. Yes, but I could just take that now. Chija, tano, hashasana chana. Why don't I just help myself to whatever you've got? Grachi, ubachi, kumpa, duana muska, na boska wamba. Dark side points gained. Fantastic. Also, buddy, you are so dead. I don't even think he was Let's get this oh, over oh, with. He's gonna fight. And down he goes. We have seen much during the war. Is it your wish to continue causing such suffering? Only the weak suffer. The strong endure. As always, General, when you lead, I shall follow. But it is only because we have been through so much together. Losing influence with people really isn't the end of the world. You can get them low enough, you can still get all their bonuses. Which is kind of nice. Influence gains in general are a little wonky. But, uh... We'll get to that when we get to Narsha. There's going to be a lot of party swapping in Narsha. Ooh, droid toxin emitter. Um, so I have to go back that way anyway. Yes. What's going on? Oh, dear. Walk that force field. Thank you. Let me handle this. Uh, I would bow to her, but you're already over half dead. You asked for it. And now you're down. Fantastic. Fallen. Get up. Ooh, remains. Knock out bypass. That's not bad. Uh, I was going to say, there's more to this than this. I hear you. And I'm yeah? being shot at through a sealed door. Thanks, game. <gasps> Oh, look, the door's down again. Who'd have thought, right? I'm not even damaged. Yeah! Uh, there is a reason to come back here, other than the fact that it's this a ton shall of not stop us for long. Fallen. All right, let's end this little charade. Yeah! <laughs> Outdoor, get up, please. Thank you. Yes. Kreia, if you would be so kind as to pop a couple heels down. Let's go. Oh, Outdoor, you gained a level. Fantastic. Very happy for you. And treat and treat and go up. And I can get you a feet now. Um, I mean, I guess 
critical strike is good? Or flurry? Uh, yeah, let's get you flurry. Because, yeah, you get no penalties at Master Flurry, so I'm going to get you Flurry. Ooh, Droid Deflector Mark II. Don't mind if I do. And a Neural Scrambler. That'll sell for some cash. And some security doors. Uh, yes. Terminals, however, on. get dealt with with Beodor. Okay, that terminal's inactive. Is there anything back here? That's the next question. I don't remember. Another terminal. Uh, I do not want to overload the droid recharging stations because I would rather just kill the droid. This is too tough for me. Ah, okay. Let's open this door. I have then. this open in no time. And is there anything in here? Just a force field. What is it? So, yeah. Beodur. Beodur. Mm. We're getting closer to the end. Oh, sorry. If that's the cut content area, I think. Yes. Yeah? I have this open in no time. Child's play. Oh, look. It's an HK protocol droid. I hear you. Yeah? Huh. Well, that's going to follow us now, but what is an HK protocol droid doing down here? Huh. I'm sure it's not a big deal. Uh, he blew up. D didn't even leave a body. Just blew up. Okay. Sorry, this is the cut content area. Yeah. We cannot get to it, so keep that in mind. Uh, we'll be back there much later. Much, much later. Hey, look, stuff. Shiny shield and spacer sensors. Huh. Neat. Not for me, but neat. Yes. Yeah? I think I have those on the light side run, actually. Come to think of it. And this is a dead end. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything obvious. What is it? What's going and... on? Door to open. Take. And we got some turrets. Why are these not aggressive? Why are these disabled? What is it? Yeah? I didn't disable them. Hmm. Ugh. And a military droid who's been deactivated. And a terminal. Yes. What's going on? Reactor control. Start the reactor. Oh. Oh. This is what happens when you don't overload the charging stations. Oh, ho, ho, that's a big boy. That's a big boy. That's going to be a real annoying fight, too. Cool. Now they're all active. Also, I'm pretty sure that means you're active. Oh, no. I don't know why that one doesn't go active, but eh, whatever. And some turrets that aren't really going to be a threat. Let him handle that one. Ooh, nice. Okay. Give the game a second here to see if it wants to put anything on these corpses. And I'm thinking no. Okay. It's kind of 
I'm hoping I'd be able to get an HK part out of that droid, but alas, no such luck. All right, here we go. I like fighting them from that way. And they all decided to melee us too, which is even more hilarious, honestly. Focus. Oh, I think she actually cast Battle Meditation. Sweet. These ones are actually a little tougher. This won't take long. I'm not really hitting them very well. Let me handle this. Fallen. We are fully buffed now. Wow, she cast all of the buffs. Probably be better to manually control her because she runs through her force points a lot like this, but eh, whatever. We lived. Oh, still one left. Fallen. Focus. Quick, I'm just gonna get behind you. That way Baodur can get involved. Oh. See look at all this easy XP. They do hand you the XP in this game, I will say that. This shall not stop us for long. And we're almost done. I don't think there's anything actually back here either. You just Yeah. Oh, oh, actually there what is, is something back here. That's right. Let's there's go. a storage closet. Nice. Anything good? Six parts. It's not the worst. And a data pad. The ignition code for the shuttle. Right. You had to do this part. I forgot. You do not have a choice. Any remains? Nope. And yeah. Can't sabotage the terminal later. I will probably sabotage that terminal. That was what? Five droids at 200 XP a pop? kind of want to remember that for the light side run. I'll forget by then. I really will. Uh, we're going to do a quick save. Because I don't want to do that part again. We have a damaged cylinder. Fortunately, we have a bunch of uh, minor frag mines. So we can go ahead and pop one of those down. And that'll pop that open. Cool. I think that was a good trade for a minor frag mine. All right, folks. This next fight is really interesting. I'm not sure how it's going to go. Kray has got good force points, though, so we'll probably be okay. Tank droid! I do not want you to face a party member. We're going to turn you around. How do you like that? Take oh, him down. Okay. Yeah, that's why I don't want him facing my party member. She's got a flamethrower. Hmm. Mm, he hurts. This won't take long. He hurts a lot. Focus. I should probably med pack. I'm not going to, but I should. He's almost got him. <laughs> wow. He is tough. And I don't think he dropped anything. That's okay if we come back here. Metal boxes. What do you have? Parts? Ooh, lots of components. That's always nice. We'll get to use those later in the game. Sonic nullifiers, power implants. Ooh, neat. We'll check this stuff out in a minute. Advanced med pack. I'll take it. Yeah, nothing too great there. That locker has nothing in it. 
components and some chemicals. So like I said, we'll deal with those later. Uh, real quick, that implant there, plus two strength, plus one fort. I'm going to use that as my go-to. Sonic nullifiers, 10 resist sonic damage. Yeah, I'm going to take that over what I've got now. I'm wearing detonator gloves. Big surprise there. Uh, nothing good there. Yeah, we're pretty much at where we want to be. And these are just uh, droids that aren't active. Let's make sure that he, in fact, did not drop anything. Don't believe he did. So let's go ahead and get to the shuttle. I think we're good to go. Uh, open, the, oh, because uh, the reactor wasn't active. So we need to go over here. I believe we need to use this terminal now that our, the reactor is on to uh, let us leave. Yep, unlock the hangar doors. Throw out another quick save. And let's get out of here, shall we? Yep, take the shuttle. too late. The target has evaded us. We must pursue it. Observation. They have likely escaped aboard the orbital shuttle that has been docked here. The Bay Control computer likely will have a record of their departure. Query. Have you discovered anything about the shuttle's course? Answer. I have managed to track the shuttle's movement across the shield network. However, the shield network does not stretch over the polar region which was the shuttle's apparent destination. Statement. Dispatch a unit to the polar region with the last known coordinates and approximate path of the shuttle. They will not escape us again. Mm. Well, this can't be any worse than last time. So that's the hole in the shield network, huh? Doesn't look like much to me. Pretty sure You've got to be kidding me. It's not my fault. Pretty sure that most of those scenes there were uh, cut content, added back. The CGI is the CGI from the original game, but I believe the droids coming in there was uh, all part of the restored content, which is pretty cool. Egotistic praise. An excellent shot, even with the prevailing winds. I couldn't have done it better myself. Field assessment. I picked up on the heat forms of the Jedi and his allies. Activate the mines and prime the self-destruct sequences. Relieved statement. Oh, Jedi, it is good to see you intact. We were concerned that shooting down your shuttle would damage you irreparably. Quick clarification. But now that we have found you, we hope that we can facilitate communications. Unnecessary addendum. And put an end to hostilities. <laughs> yeah. Destroying f one of you is easy. Wiping out three of you might cause me to break a sweat. Before we do anything, let's level you up.
And I want to give you... Oh, yeah, I was going to use the last trait of toughness. Let's look at your equipment. Four and plus two to all saves. And what is your dex bonus? Your dex bonus is currently three. So first of all, uh, that should get you up to four. Well, three, because I, I don't know, actually know why it still says three. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, because you're you're wearing the uh, military suit now, so you can get up to. F so that gives you a total of nine. That gives you ten. That gives you ten. That also gives you ten. Hmm. Um. So it did. I mean that one. This one right here. Yeah, go ahead, wear that one. Also, Droid Oxidizer. That seems like a pretty good choice here, honestly. Because I think all the rest of my... I think that's a rifle, yep. That's a pistol, but... Public Blaster. I mean, these are pretty decent weapons. That being said, you have a Droid Oxidizer, which is fantastic. Oh, by the way, are you set for dueling right now? Yeah, you don't have dual wield at all, so cool. Well, I wanted to know. Also, do me a favor and uh, blow that up. I hear you. you. Accuracy ratio achieved. There we go. I will silence this one. Oh! Huh. Well, that's not where that came from. Ratio oh wow! Achieved. Systems failing, master. More where that came from. These uh these guys have some pretty nasty weapons. Huh. I hear you. All right, fantastic. Systems failing, master. Now it's one on one. Who's going to win? Probably them. Almost definitely them. I should probably try to prevent my own death here. Oh dear. Run away. Uh, Egotistic praise, an excellent shot. Fortunately, we saved the right there. So yeah, they they I hurt couldn't have done it a lot. Myself. Wow. Feel okay, we've seen this. Come on, get up. I was not expecting them to hurt like that. Kriya's got some of the buffs off. System that will help. Master. That helped a lot. Yeah, I think the problem is they took me down before Kriya had the chance to get the buffs up. Fallen. With the buffs up, we are significantly uh -huh. tougher. Systems failing, master. We do want to check their remains. HK control cluster. 
and a lot of good droid parts actually. Very good droid parts. Ow, they hurt. <laughs> they really hurt. Uh, I think if we look at our party screen, yeah. I don't think Bowdur is available at all. He's vanished somewhere. Who knows? Speaking of which. Huh. Knocked out. Gotta find some refuge. Uh, nothing else up here to speak of, really. I think we just kind of have to find the uh, path down. That looks promising over here. Yeah, that does look promising, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, anything else out here? Nope. Someone's got force pikes. And we're locked in. Lay down your weapons, and you shall not be harmed. <laughs> Take my weapons and die. I will not warn you again. Drop your weapons, or we shall take them from you. Do as they say. I sense people come to no harm. <laughs> they wish a fight. Eh, no one disarms me. The loss of your weapons shall be a temporary thing only, and it is necessary. There is much to be gained here without violence. <laughs> I'll play along for now. Why is it that everywhere we go, I end up in a cell? I mean, why did they lock us up? What is this place? It is a training ground for Jedi. What? This ice hole? Yes. It bears the semblance of an academy. But where are all the students? Curious. You've got to be joking. What is a Jedi academy doing out here in the middle of nowhere? It is a place hidden from the galaxy like the academy on Dantooine. But this place... Oh, Atris, you have been clever. Atris? It's none of your concern. Well, the sooner we're out of here, the better. Two crazy Jedi are more than enough for me. No one told me we were going to be dumped in a nest of Jedi. And what is it about this place that causes you such fear? What do you mean? We're in the middle of a bunch of Jedi. You know how they are. No, I do not. Not in the way you seem to. What? What are you doing? Get out of my head! Stop struggling. Let me follow the current. Deep, deep to its source. Stop! Stop! Ah! Ah. With the fear is mingled guilt. It squirms in you like a worm. And the why? Ah. And there is its heart. You surprise me. I could not feel it before. Your feelings are a powerful shield indeed. Do not worry, Atten. If he is a Jedi, he will forgive. And if he is not, he will not care. You can't tell him, please. I'm asking you. I don't want him to... Think less of you. I hardly think that's possible. Still, there is no shame in what you ask. We all wage war with the past, and it leaves its scars. I will not speak of yours, Atten. But there is a price for such things. What? What price? There are those who wage war and those who follow them. You are a crude thing, murderer, but you have your uses. You know how important this man we travel with is. Even one such as you can feel it. You will serve him until I release you. And if I refuse? You will not. If you do, then my silence will be broken. And then, Atten... You will be broken. You fear the Jedi, and rightly so. If Atris learns of your choices, you will never leave this place. But whatever fear you hold of the Jedi, know that if you disobey me, that my punishment will make you beg for the death that has long hounded you. Wipe the fear from your mind. You will not find blind obedience a difficult master. You chose it once. You will learn to embrace it again. I don't know how you became such a manipulative witch, but why a vicious old scowl like yourself would even bother with me is a bigger mystery. 
No game of the Jarek can be won without pawns, and this may prove to be a very long game. You are a slippery one. Your thoughts difficult for even one such as I to read. I suspect the self-loathing that squirms within you gives you a curious strength. Your spirit, as diseased as it is, refuses to allow you to give up, no matter what threats you face and whatever wreckage you leave behind you. I feel you have crossed our path for a reason. Perhaps even you, at the right moment, may be able to turn aside disaster. If so, your potential is not yet spent. Fine. I'll be your pawn. But I still think you've got the wrong man. Perhaps. But someone has to fly the ship, and the force is a hard thing to predict. You have crossed our path for a reason. Our path brought us here for a reason. And now I know why. The past is here, and it must be met before the future can be set in motion. Uh, more Jedi speak. Care to explain? No. I've wasted enough time with you. Sleep, murderer, and be silent. I need no distractions. A critical moment approaches. Well, that wasn't ominous or anything. I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the Exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? <laughs> Revenge. You've cast me out, and now I've returned. Indeed. And how do you plan to seek your revenge on me? Or do you intend to take revenge on all the Council as well? I'll kill every Jedi I can find. So... It is as I suspected. You have already done enough. The dead Jedi, the murders, you have much to answer for, monster. <laughs> murders? I've killed no Jedi. Yet. Jedi across the galaxy have been slain or have vanished. A darkness devours them, a new force shrouded by the power of the dark side. You are allied with them, as I suspected. You shall answer for your crimes after I tear the knowledge of this new threat from you. <laughs> Try it and you'll regret it. It was too much to hope that you may have come here to finally admit the Council was right. <laughs> hmm. This is my lightsaber, but I don't care about my lightsaber. I'm taking my ship back. Try and stop me and you'll regret it. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go. Just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove him, mistress. Come with us. Mm -hmm. Are you all right, mistress? The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I have never seen another affect you so strongly. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachments. As always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy, and the feelings of others, can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber, and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... But now, now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, Mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Atris has some some issues. J just a few. There's some interesting looking uh, holocrons in that chamber of hers. Interesting indeed. Dark side points. All right, but I think that is where we are going to call it a part for today. So until our paths cross again, have fun and stay safe, everyone.